Welcome back everybody. This is once again Roger Eastlick with Business Website CEO. In this video, as promised, we're going to create a contact page. Always want to be able to have people allow people to contact you, right? It's very important. So, once again, we're going to go back into our dashboard. We're going to go down to pages, all pages, and click on add new. Hopefully my voice doesn't give out here. We'll see how this goes. Anyway, to create a, we're going to name this page. We'll just call it contact. All right, and now <clears throat> here's where that, here's where installing that uh, contact form 7 plugin that we did earlier in an earlier video is going to come in handy because what we're going to do here is we are going to use a short code from that plugin. So to do that, all we have to do is let's see if we can do this up here. We've got contact and contact forms. So you know what I think I need to do right now is I'm going to go ahead and publish this. Click on publish over here to the right. All right. And now we're going to go over here to contact and click on contact forms. You'll notice that by default, Contact Form 7, the plugin, already has a form created for you. And all you have to do is grab the short code. So click in the box, highlight, highlight it, click, right click and copy. All right, so let's go back to our pages and do the All Pages. Click on Contact. And now we can click over here in the, the text part of it. It doesn't really matter. We'll click on the text tab over here. And then left click in the box, in the text box, and right click and click paste. All right, and that's all we really need to do here to give ourselves a, um, a contact form. We are going to, um, okay, let's go ahead and click on update. Let's go back one more time to the contact form. Click on con contact and contact forms. Click on the contact form itself. And here you notice it's already got the form all, all set up for us. You can do fancy things with it and, and put in other uh, fields and tags and things like that if you want to. You can mess around with that. It is important and it should be here by default that you've got a, a two mailing address okay that's important I think that if you've already set up set it up that will be there um, but make sure that down here at the bottom in the contact form 7 form that you've created or it's been created for you make sure you do have somewhere that it can mail it to you otherwise you're not going to get any of your um, mail you can also have your from you can change and modify your from address if you'd like to. You don't have to. There's already WordPress at whatever your domain name is, um, which works fine. Um, and you can, if you want to, change the sender's messages and stuff like that. But again, you really don't have to. It's all extra, extra credit. Okay, that's with the contact form seven in our contact page. Uh, in the next video, we're going to create the menu. This is Roger Eastlick with uh, businesswebsiteceo.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. See you in the next video. If you found this video useful, please like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, and other social media. Thanks.